World of Dentistry Dental Solutions for Your Dental Needs Natal Teeth Welcome to another video. The teeth develop long after the baby is born. However, there are rare cases where a baby is born with teeth. We will talk about these cases. Natal teeth are relatively rare anomalies in babies. Despite not being life-threatening, they can cause feeding problems, ulcerations due to trauma by rubbing the tooth against the gum or cheeks, and concern for aspiration since these teeth can fall out without the parents noticing. These teeth generally appear in the lower gums, where the front teeth, central incisors, will be later. They are attached to the edge of the gums by soft tissue, so they can fall out without anyone noticing, and the baby can aspirate it. They are usually not well-formed, which can cause discomfort for the mother at the time of breastfeeding. Despite being rare, natal teeth are not generally associated with any disease. However, they may be associated with Ellis Van Creveld syndrome. This hereditary syndrome is characterized by affecting bone growth. It is also known as chondroectodermal dysplasia. Hallerman Streiff syndrome. This syndrome is characterized by abnormalities in the bones of the skull, facial bones, sparse hair, along with degenerative skin changes. Cleft lip and palate. These birth defects affect the upper lip and palate. Pierre Robin syndrome. It is a condition in which the baby has a smaller than normal jaw, a receding tongue, and difficulty breathing. Soto syndrome. This syndrome of genetic origin is characterized by excessive growth during intrauterine and postnatal life, accompanied by motor, cognitive, and social retardation. The appearance of the natal teeth can vary since they are not associated with the normal process of formation and eruption of the temporary dentition. There are different types. Loose teeth. They look like they are placed on the gums, but they are only attached by a little soft tissue and tend to fall off easily. Size and shape. Neonatal teeth do not have a normal shape, and their size is generally small. Dental enamel. The outer layer of the tooth is generally shiny and smooth. There is usually little or no hypoplasia. About to erupt. These teeth can still be seen within the gum. However, they are not called natal teeth but neonatal teeth, which unlike the natal tooth that is already in the mouth when the baby is born, this type comes out during the first 30 days of life. Like the natal teeth, they do not present a risk to the life of the baby. The natal teeth do not represent a danger to health. However, if they can occur, some complications are Aspiration. If the natal teeth are very mobile, they can fall out spontaneously. Therefore, the baby is at risk of swallowing it. Aspiration, chances are very low, but when inhaled, it can obstruct the airway. Feeding. Natal teeth can cause discomfort to both the mother and the baby at the time of lactation. In some cases, the baby may present ulcers on the tongue associated with rubbing the tooth against it, making feeding difficult and painful. Dental crowding. If the natal tooth remains in the mouth, it can be considered as supernumerary. In this case, the normal teeth can move or crowd around it. Caries. Caries can occur in these teeth since they do not have their outermost layer enamel. As already mentioned, one of the characteristics of these teeth is that they have very little or no enamel, hypoplasia. Therefore, in the absence of this layer, the tooth is more exposed to the accumulation of plaque and caries. That's all for today. We hope this video has been useful to better understand the today's topic. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more information.